I'm at the intersection of Colval and Harmon. This is the F1 yard where they have all their equipment, the staging area, and then right across the street. This is the paddock building. There's a lot of activity here now. They've built these stands to the right already. So you can see the track goes right through here. So the track, it's 3.8 miles, uh, has 17 turns, it'll be 50 laps. That's a total of 192.6 miles. And there's 300,000 square feet. Three stories, it has a rooftop terrace, you can see up there with the covered area. So November 21st, 22nd and 23rd are the race days, the 23rd being the actual race, which is a Saturday. Now there'll be two DRS zones. That's for drag reduction system. Now I had to look that up. I wasn't familiar with that. What that is, it's a system that allows the car, has a flap on the rear wing that provides more downforce so the car can go, what I read is six to seven miles an hour faster. And it is allowed only by a car that is attempting to pass that is within one second behind. So it seems like this intent of this is to have more passing, to have a more interesting race. The Flamingo Bridge this year is scheduled to go up mid-October and come down mid-December. So we should have that about two months. It'll be two lanes instead of four this year. And it'll be placed in the south lanes of Flamingo going over Koval instead of in the middle like it was last year. And they've already built this entire structure here for viewing of the race. And this is right across the street from the paddock building right here. Staging area is, of course, next to Battlebots Arena.